There is a big symbolism to Sinn Féin coming first, despite the fact that the unionist vote fractured. Does that change things in Northern Ireland? Well, there is a huge symbolism, and this is something that uh, Sir Geoffrey Donaldson and the DUP warned very strongly of. It had been very clear, as Dougie has uh, indicated there, that the unionist uh, vote was fracturing, um, particularly around the issue of the protocol. Um, so what we've seen is that the DUP have lost votes towards a harder line party to the right of the DUP, the TUV, very, very strongly anti-protocol party, but also anti-power sharing. Um, and you know, Sir Geoffrey Donaldson could see that that was happening. He tried to stem that flow and, and I think to a certain extent successfully in that he only dropped uh, three seats, I said there, but actually we'd already lost, they'd already lost one to um, the uh, independents. So went into the election with 27 seats, came out with 25. However, it has been very, very close between um, Sinn Féin and the DUP for some years now. What Sinn Féin has really done is consolidated uh, the nationalist vote. So they have grown in terms of uh, votes, not in terms of seats, but they were able to hold on to their 27 by taking uh, votes from another nationalist party, the SDLP. And uh, effectively then that meant that when the DUP dropped their uh, two or three seats, uh, they're in now in the position to take the first minister position. Um, but I think importantly, as Dougie has said, there. It's been a lot of spin about this. So Jeffrey Donaldson said Sinn Féin would spin this to try to say, oh, this is a momentum towards uh, Irish unity. We need to have a referendum. But in fact, uh, the nationalist bloc of uh, Sinn Féin and SDLP actually dropped more seats than the unionist uh, bloc and uh, indeed um, actually remain uh, the second largest designation. Unionism is still the largest designation. Uh, and their vote hasn't changed. The, the percentage of that nationalist vote hasn't changed from 1998, that first election after the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. So there are a number of facts about this that unfortunately isn't coming through in a lot of the way it's being covered because it is being perceived in the way that was feared that somehow uh, this means that um, we're on the trajectory towards a united Ireland. The, the, the numbers haven't substantially changed here at all in this election.